send on that 4000 can mount up to two samples at once. This saves time, especially because the mounting time difference between one mount and two mounts is small. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to determine how much mounting media you're going to use. And if you go to www.viewer.com, we have a nice handy tool um, that can help you figure this out. You go up to the right hand corner, a solutions tab, and then you go down to the mounting media calculator. Then it'll bring you to this page here. This page, given the right variables, can calculate how much media you're going to need to get a specific height for a mount. This is important because if you put too much media in the mounting chamber, then it can mess up the simple net 4000. So I've already put in the appropriate values and everything for one of my specific parts, and now I'm going to click Get Mask, and see it says that I need 30 grams of phenocure to mount the sample and get a 20 millimeter height. So this is a really handy tool if you want to do a duplex mount. Now let's get started mounting the samples. These are the two tools that you're going to need. So this one is a spacer placer. Um, it's a bar with a magnet at the end of it. And then this is the spacer itself. So this is going to create a fake lower ram that you're going to put the second sample on top of. So now we have the lower ram already up. All you have to do is place your sample. So I have these two steel samples here. Um, all you have to do is place the side that you want facing down towards the lower ram. And the lower ram has already been coated in release agent so that the samples won't stick. Then you lower the rim. You want to lower the rim about halfway into the chamber so that you can pour your mounting media on top of it. I've already measured my mounting media. We're going to be using Phenocure to mount the samples. So the first sample I'm going to mount in black. Here. The next step is to take your spacer and spacer placer. Put them together like this. So you want to press down um, into the chamber until you feel that it can't go any further. So once the spacer placer is down in the chamber, you want to lower it a little bit more so that you can take the spacer placer out. And then you want to take your second sample and place it in with the face going down towards the fake lower rim that you just created. And you want to pour your second batch of mounting media in. So now that you're done, you can open the chamber and take your samples out. Now you have two samples mounted. For more information, please visit our website at www.dealer.com.